The death of an island is a common occurrence on our Earth, and today, ISAT-2, our satellite LIDAR altimetry system, can see and watch these spectacular places. It's almost spooky, because islands are part of the glimmers of how the Earth works in the giant oceanic environment. So let's take a look at one of these island systems in a remote part of the Southwest Pacific known as the Kingdom of Tonga. And this island archipelago is special because it has lots of volcanoes. Recently, ISAT-2 was able to produce topography of one of these islands, a recently formed one known as Honga Tonga Honga Hapai in the Southwest Pacific. And this island only a couple hundred hectares in extent, was burst from the shallow waters, oceans of this part of the Pacific about six years ago. It constructed a 120 meter high volcano and that volcanic island has been crumbling against the barrage of forces of the ocean and tropical cyclones over the last six years. ISAT-2 was able to see that island with the finest scale precision of satellite laser altimetry possible and show us the structure of the island as it's crumbling. And what ISAT-2 shows us is the shallow crater lake that formed as the volcano was erupting and then filled with ocean water it is only 10 or 15 meters deep. It reflects what might be the volcanic vent system that led to the formation of this special island. Now other islands in the Tonga system haven't survived as well. And one erupted beautifully in the fall of 2019. And that island, which is named Lateiki, formed a new island just several meters above sea level that was then witnessed by ISAT-2 a few months after that island washed away. And what's left are the remnant shoals of a region that's very active, the tip of a three kilometer, 10,000 foot undersea volcano that pops its head above and below the waves every decade or two. The death of islands is like the ghost-like relics of what the Earth once was. And we know there's thousands of these things on the ocean and the seafloor, most of which don't poke their heads above the water. 